Well, for me, Ricky, I think that that was good, but uh, he's got the pressure a little bit more like how I pressure my family to go to Burger King. Oh boy, people, we're only down to 32 fighters and we got a matchup here between FCB going up against Oizen McCoy 9. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Are you listening? Ricky J. Sparks. Well, 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 we are only down to 32 fighters, people. 32 fighters. Are you kidding me? Finally, this tournament is going to come to an end, and it's FCB going up against Oizen McCoy today. And let's see what happens. FCB changed his name to Don't Tap Bro, something like that. But we know him as FCB, and let's see if Oizen McCoy, who's been asking for this matchup to be broadcasted, like asking a lot, people. I won't get into how many times he sent me emails, messages. So here you have it, brother. Let's see what you got. Let's see you put on a great performance against an unbelievable guy. I'm a huge fan of FCB. I just feel like he mixes everything into this game, into this sport so nicely. And he's got Oizen McCoy rocked. Is McCoy the real McCoy? <laughs> Is Oizen the real McCoy? That's a question. But yeah, I really love FCB's game, man. It's a great fighter. I like what McCoy's doing, though. He's not getting too carried away. He's got to be careful, because once FCB starts getting comfortable on the feet, he'll go and take you down. He'll just throw that curveball at you. Nice head movement by FCB. <laughs> I love how McCoy, McCoy's character, Conda just looks scared, man. Let it all hang out. There you go. Played a little possum there and caught the leg. Nice. And again, this game is crazy, guys. If you're tuning in for the first time, man, UFC 3 is a game that's not kind. You make one mistake, the fight could end. And I'm noticing FCB stamina is kind of going down, man. Look at that stamina just drain. So in my opinion, McCoy is doing a nice job. Oh, he's got him rocked. Nice finish to this round by McCoy. But I wouldn't be pressing too much, man. Oh, no. Oh, no. He got ragdolled there, people. Let's not beat around the bush. What a crazy KO. Did you see how the Cerrone character, he planted and just threw that kick? And, you know, that's like getting KO'd by Mike Tyson, though, because Cerrone's such a great kicker. He's got so much power behind his kicks, a lot of steam, and that was just an incredible finish. Getting KO'd by a kicker, man, is probably worse than getting KO'd by an amazing puncher. But anyway, we're moving on right away to the next fight, and it's a mirror match. Dustin the Diamond Poye, who I think is just an amazing fighter in, in real life and in the game. He could be like the dark horse of this game. Who do you think is the dark horse? Best dark horse. Could be the, it could be Poye. So I'm, I'm, I'm looking and I'm analyzing here. And I'm thinking, I like what McCoy's doing, but he's got to drag this fight to that third round, people, because it seems like FCB's just using a little more stamina than I'm, than I'm used to seeing from him for some reason. Oh boy, but this is his world, man. This is his world. And as I said in the beginning of this video, the one thing I really like about FCB is how when he gets comfortable on the feet, he'll take you down. And you know this is like just a totally different game when you get to the mat. Oh, but McCoy, 
Now, if this was Ortega, it would be a two-stager. Oh. oh, nice. So then after you miss that submission, you got to rethink things. He's really active, though, off his back, and I like that. For me, I, I kind of do a lot of watching and seeing what my opponent's going to do and try to react. But being proactive off the back is not a bad thing. And I do that. Tickle the head, tickle the head. And he gets up. You know what? Say what you want about McCoy. He's a solid fighter, man. He's a solid fighter, and he's putting together a nice second fight. And that's good to see, man, especially after a loss. Oh, wow. The one thing I like about McCoy is that you know, he's not overdoing it with the quantity of his strikes. And he's picking his opportunities nicely. Oh, nice. Wow. But he got a little too comfortable with those combos. And FCB, as GSP would say, he's an opportunist. <laughs> I'm going to dick, 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 dictate the fight. <laughs> <laughs> you got a you got a nice reversal here, but you got to watch some old GSP interviews with Sherdog. And they're like, how do you think you're going to do, George, against uh, Carl Parisian? And he's like, I tell you what, I'm going to dick, dick, dictate the fight. <laughs> nice round, man. That was very close. And we look at the stats. That's McCoy's round. And I'm not too sure if McCoy is in the top 100, but you know FCB or Don't Tap Bro is way up there. Now, for McCoy to have this kind of showing in this second fight is a victory in it and within itself. So he's got to be feeling pretty good. I always say when you steal that first fight or the first round off a really good opponent like FCB all you gotta do is win one more round and then you just can play it safer in that third round so if I'm in McCoy's corner I'm trying to go for it here I'm trying to win this round and then in that third round I'm still gonna fight but I'm gonna be careful nice drops <laughs> that was only one I gave you the plural action but nice drop man Oh boy. But being in the clinch, man, with a, a oh, with a great grappler. I always say one of the the best guys that I know in grappling has to be FCB, Top Man Stan, Retro Rocky. Who else? Those are the guys that come to mind. Oh, and, and don't forget about Brian Triangle City. Even add Vadim. There, there's so many killers out there, though, in the online world. But FCB is up there when it comes to grappling. Nice! McCoy! And this is something that you don't really see. A guy that doesn't really have that a good first fight and then comes back and puts together... <gasps> I'm jinxing it. I am totally jinxing it. But puts together a solid second showing. Especially how kind of you know one side of that first fight is, and now it's it's even Steven. But mind you, McCoy did well in the second half of that first fight. Oh, oh, I think FCB was looking for that driving takedown, but didn't get it. Oh, this is bad for FCB. Look at that stamina differential. And when you lock in the stam when you lock in these submissions, the stamina doesn't replenish. Oh boy, this looks like it could be done here. One more, or two more, sorry. Oh, and he lost it. But the head health of FCB. Now, can you knock out your opponent while you're on your back? I always wondered that because look at FCB is on top. And if you're in McCoy's corner, would you just try to hit him with pitter-patter shots? Can you knock out your opponent? 
And I think that's a legit question. Nice reversal. Especially after you almost get a choke and then you're on your back. And then if you hit him with pitter patter shots, will he get KO'd? Is there an animation for that? Let's try it offline. I may actually try that. Oh, boy. FCB. Oh, I was going to say FCB is going to show him how, to, how submissions go. Let's see. Definitely FCB's round. So now McCoy's got to... He's got to really amp up his game here. And I always like to pretend to be in people's corner. If I'm in McCoy's corner, I would say stick to your striking game. Your striking game is amazing. And you're right up there with FCB. It could be even slightly better, man. If you can put together those moments where you were just so accurate with your strikes, you could do this. But the thing is, I always say this. Ed Parker's, Marshall Mines, you know, all the elite guys, they're always so good at being able to sustain the high level of gameplay throughout a whole fight. You know what I mean? They're always able to do the right things at the right times all throughout the fight. And I think with McCoy, he's doing so well. But is he going to be able to keep that high level play for long stretches? That's the question. Oh! And that came out of nowhere. A front kick to the face a la Anderson Silva. Well, for me, Ricky, I think that that was good. But uh, he's got the pressure. A little bit more like how I pressure my family to go to Burger King. Wow. McCoy's in trouble. Got three minutes. Leave it all. No, he's trying to slow dance. Don't try to slow dance with FCB, baby. Oh. And... Oh, man. No. Nice. And I'm not cheering for McCoy, man, but got to give love to the underdog. And you guys already know I'm a huge FCB fan. But I always like to see a third fight. And then McCoy can't. You know, he's got to be able to do some damage. Oh, boy. Remember, it's a five-stager, so he's got some time to get out of this. Oh, FCB, is he's, he's tracking his patterns. McCoy's in trouble. Oh, he gets out. McCoy, power slam. Ella Quinton Jackson. And he gets up. There you go. Now just go for it, baby. Either you get knocked out or knocked out. Oh, and he gets knocked out. <laughs> but you got to give it up for McCoy, man. He really is, man. The real McCoy because he went for it. He didn't play it safe and try to leave it in the hands of the judges. He went for it and unfortunately he was on the other end. Oh, he tried to get that front kick in there, but he was just a fraction too slow. You see that? Just that margin of being just slightly late cost him the fight, but gotta give him love i'm a huge fan of mccoy i'm a fan of both of these guys what a great performance but fcb don't tap bros moving on to the round of 16 can you believe that i'm so excited to see his next matchup so anyhow people let me know your thoughts on this fight we're moving forward we're closing in on close to the end of this tournament finally so if you're still in the tournament, get your fights in, man. Make that extra effort to get your fights in because I'm starting to disqualify some people that are lingering, man. You know what I mean? I'm not even getting the alternates in there. I'm just disqualifying people and moving the tournament on so we can finish this off. So anyhow, people, take care. Have a great day. You guys are the best. This is Ricky J, baby, from Ricky J Sports. Let's say it together, big boy. You are awesome.